morning students today we are going to do another poem from our book first flight the name of the poem is the ball poem and the it is composed by john berryman the poem narrates an incident in the life of a child a simple incident when the ball is lost and cannot be retrieved in fact the poem deals with the philosophy of loss and it is based on the idea that people possess a number of things some of which get lost sometimes but losing is inevitable and a part of life and should not give an emotional setback to the loser one must know how to put up with a loss without losing heart and hope because loss of one thing is not the end of life one must courageously move on leaving the loss behind the poem gives a lesson that is full of wisdom through the loss of everyone and we must learn to bear the pain associated with loss the poet assumes a boy who is playing with a ball once the ball bounces out of his control and consequently falls into the water the boy became sad the poet feels that no other ball will be sufficient to lessen his sadness here the lost ball stands for the general loss of a human being the losses may be the loss of personal possession or the death of some near and dear one or due to the separation from the beloved one as long as there is life everyone has to bear many types of losses so let's begin with this poem children the ball poem on page number 46 the title suggest a symbolism ball is symbolic of positions a person may have so any position i feel children poet has intentionally taken the example of a ball because we can relate to it so that we can relate to it all of us must have lost a ball one or the other time ball is a very small thing but how it can be a fruitful learning experience that we are going to learn in this poem and let us see what the poet talks about first we are going to read out the complete poem you can see that i have mentioned the poetic devices as well along with the lines a boy loses a ball he is very upset a ball doesn't cost much nor is it difficult to buy another ball why then is the boy so upset read the poem to see what the poet thinks has been lost and what the boy has to learn from the experience of losing something now see children the word, the spelling of losing a uh, when we write double o usually we make all all of us make mistake here and therefore i'm mentioning it uh, when we lose something then there l o s e is u single o and the socks are loose suppose if you want to say like that then double o will be there so let's see what the poet talks about in the poem what is the boy now who has lost his ball what what is he to do I saw it go merrily bouncing down the street and then no use to say oh there are other balls an ultimate shaking grief fixes the boy as he stands rigid trembling staring down all his young days into the harbor where his ball went i would not intrude on him a dime another ball is worthless now he senses first responsibility in a world of positions people will take balls 
Balls will be lost always. Little boy, and no one buys a ball back. Money is external. He is learning. Well, behind his desperate eyes, the epistemology of loss. How to stand up knowing what every man must one day know and most know many days how to stand up. This poem, children, is about losing something which we love and then learning to grow up. It is all about a little boy who is uh, in his young life for the first time is learning what it is like to experience grief after the loss of a, a much loved position which is here this ball his ball maybe for us the ball uh, the loss of a ball is of minor consequence a natural reaction may be that still there are many more balls as the poet also says in this poem so need not worry but to a little boy this is something different one can get another ball with a very less amount of money as the poet suggests only a dime it cost but money is external and immortal it cannot bring back the thing that he possessed the thing that he was in love with so it cannot buy back the love and hence cannot replace the things that we love in this poem children the boy's uh, ball is easily personifying the loss of the ball is personifying with his young days and uh, uh, which were very happy and innocent as here the poet says that it went into the water here all his young days into the harbor where his ball went so ball can be symbolized as the loss of innocence people may take balls just as they will take away our innocence and uh, force us to grow up soon and once we lose our innocence then we cannot get it back but despite all of these we can have to learn to stand up obviously we need to be strong and get on with our life irrespective of the sadness inside this is the only way we will survive therefore we have to learn to accept and let go the poet has made the use of imagery while telling how the ball personifies the spirit of the boy's childish innocence we may visualize how the spirit of this little boy like the ball is sinking into the dark waters of the harbor and as it drifts further away the little boy will learn to grow up and that part is linked to that ball grows up as well until it is no longer a he is no longer a little boy does the reader me interpret this poem literally and metaphorically both if literally then it is a soulful picture of a little boy of little boys growing up and uh, learning to deal with the loss of the first in his position if metaphorically then it is the story of mankind learning to deal with the loss of their loved things or people so to conclude with this poem children uh, it successfully describes uh, how we may feel to lose something that we love and grow up eventually without it now let's see the poetic devices that are used here the first and the second line begin with the same word and therefore poetic literary device anaphora then personification as a person jumps in a similar manner the ball is jumping happily down the street and therefore it is personification used here then again merrily merrily third and the fourth line they begin with the same word therefore again anaphora refrain or repetition is used for the repetition of the same word in the same line so the second line what what and then in the second stanza we can see balls balls and then alliteration alliteration is children repetition of the same sound so no one buys balls balls will be then enjambment enjambment is a poetic device used by the poet when 
their sense runs to the next line when they're using it like when the they want the sense to run to the next line they don't use a punctuation mark at the end of the line so here staring down all his young days only when you're going to read the next line you will be able to understand the meaning so here enjambment is used so children this poem is talking about a small thing ball that gives us a great learning experience